Blessings everyone. I am LaDonna May. Welcome to Mystical Divination. Thank you so much for being here and joining me and learning a little bit about me and mystical divination. First of all, I am a medium. I work with kindred spirits passed over, but most of my work is done with the angels, the guides, the spirits in the universe. I take your questions and I give them up to the universe to find answers for you. If you are at a crossroads and you're looking for some sort of answers, I am here to assist you with that as well. I am guiding your spiritual journey. My purpose is to provide clarity and guidance for whatever you're going through, to seek answers through the unknown and to see through the veil of illusions. I see things from multiple angles which other people don't see. I promise you in our divination sessions there will be at least twice that you will say how did you know that where did you get that information from like I say I can bring things to you that just aren't easy for you to see how I do that I connect my spirit guides to your spirit guides up in the universe I can also give you messages from kindred spirits who have passed on Sometimes what will happen is somebody will leave this physical plane way too quickly without any notice and they have messages which are left unsaid. They will give me those messages and I will relay them on to you as well. I am here to assist you to see things clearly. I break through with clarity for sure. If you are at the crossroads and you have to make a decision but you just can't do it on your own. I will give you future forecasting on both levels that you wanted to choose and I will aid you in making the right choice for yourself. So what I wanted to do today is just give you a little bit of a relay of how I do my work. So first of all of course with the mediumship and I also communicate with angels, guardian angels, and spirits up in the universe. So that's done with mediumship. Another way that I work is interpretation of tarot cards and oracle cards. I'll give you a little example of my tarot and oracle cards. There's one that I use. Those are these cards. And another deck of tarot cards. And I use oracle cards. Here's an example of a deck that I use. And the cards. And another. And here's those cards. They have lovely back on them. Also, I use da -da -da -da. I use a method called crystal casting. So what I do is I take my crystals. Here's an example of crystals that I have. I have lots. Oh, and speaking of lots, my tarot cards and oracle cards, I have over 60 decks. Six zero decks. Yeah, I have a lot. And I have a lot of crystals too. But each crystal has a specific energy. So when I'm working with you, I will choose crystals that you can use at home as well. And I use 
crystal casting and I also use a method called crystal visioning and I would love to work with you on that. It is so fun and incredible. And I also do something called scrying. I have a bunch of different crystal balls. I can also do scrying within water. Anything I can scry into it. So basically with scrying what you do is you concentrate and you go into a trance and you can actually quote unquote see things. It's not like back when we were little with the cartoons where scenes actually played on the ball. It doesn't quite work that way but I do see things inside the crystal ball. So yes that is crystal scrying. What else did you? Oh yes of course. Something called working with pendulums. So these are also crystals as well and they use closed ended yes or no questions and answers. I will just do one to give you an example. Show me yes. what spins around and show me no and that quickly goes to back and forth that's pretty cool huh so if you have a yes or no question I can assist you with the answer and as I showed you I have a bunch of different pendulums. What else do I use? Lots of different things. I am also a witch. I am a pagan witch. Beyond that I have no other labels. I can do many different things. I am a eclectic witch as well so I don't classify one specific genre that I work with. I work with all different modalities and gods and goddesses. Oh yeah, my, my witchcraft is extensive and I love it and I enjoy it very much. So if you as well need me to do something with witchcraft for you, I do energy reading. I can make up a spell for you, an individual personal spell. I do cutting cords, hexing, manifesting your true desires crystal analysis and I had do house blessings. Whatever you need we can come up with something for you. It's all personal. My spells I don't use on a thousand different people. I make them uniquely for you. What do I use all this for? Well-being and for clarity and for cleansing and I love doing it. It's very exciting and wonderful and I enjoy it very 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 much. I am here to assist you. I would be very happy to help you in any way possible for your well-being, for you to bring in positivity into your life, for happiness which you seek and all the glory and joy you can handle. In doing all this is called a divination session. Mystical divinations? Doing divination sessions just for you. What is a divination session? I can use any or all of all the modalities and tools that I just showed you and in this divination session I don't charge a lot. It's basically my groceries and the dog food and the dog treats. I, it's not my prime job because as I say I enjoy doing it and I enjoy working with you. So for a divination session with Mystical Divination, yours truly LaDonna May, it's $30 for half an hour and it's $50 for a full hour. And that price will never change. I've had that price a long time 
and there is no way it's going to go up. As I say, this isn't for my benefit. I am here for you. I am here to assist you. All for you. It's what I like to do. And I thank you for being here. If you have any questions for me or need me to make up something special for you, I would be happy to do that for you. Let's talk and communicate, get together, and see exactly what it is I can do for you and help you with. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. One extra thing that I wanted to mention regarding my witchcraft. This is quite important to a lot of the things that people request of me. Yes, I am a light witch and a dark witch. I work with white magic and I work with black magic. I don't believe in the threefold law. I do not feel that anything can come back three times or come back to me. Whatever I put out does not necessarily come back to me. I don't believe in that. So like I say, I do hexing, which is sometimes looked at as a black magic. I do not do cursing though, because your beliefs may be different. My beliefs are that if I do a curse, it goes into an ancestral bloodline. And whatever I am doing the hex for, it does not. So I will not do curses, but I will do hexing as a dark and light witch. Just to put that out there. In addition to being a medium and doing future forecasting and being a witch and doing all of the mediumship and everything else using the tools that go along with it, I am also an adventure gal. I love to get out there. I'm pretty much a gypsy. I like to go everywhere, explore, adventure, journey to a new destination, and have a lot of fun and get excited about everything. I love being outdoors and just exploring everything that there is to see and do. So a lot of my videos that you will see are my travels, places I go, things I get to share with you. So I really hope you enjoy going on adventure with Adventure Girl Me because it's a great feeling and oh, the air is so great and fun and wonderful being out there. I hope you enjoy all the travels that I will be doing because I will be taking you right along with me. One of the most parts of my life that is the most exciting and I love so much this is Kalua. Kalua is right now, as I film this, he is just about six years old. He is an English Springer Spaniel, and without a doubt, he is totally my best friend. He can hike, he can summit mountains, he likes sleeping in a tent, and he's just the best protector a girl could ever have. I am very, very appreciative of my boy. Kalua, give mom a kiss. Give mom a kiss. Come on. Give mom a kiss. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Give me a kiss. Come on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. Is somebody giving you a hard time? Is there somebody who doesn't take no for an answer? Is there somebody that pissed you off? Is there somebody that needs to be taught a lesson because they just did something incredibly stupid and they need to pay a price. Voodoo dolls. I got lots of them and I can make them unique and I can help you with that problem, whatever it is.
Namaste.